Hello, my name is Trevor. I'm a developer and I'm a trainer here at Evolving Web in Montreal. Uh, and at Evolving Web, we build a lot of our client sites with Drupal. Uh, we also train uh, Drupal, uh, Drupal site building, uh, module development, theming, uh, accessibility, uh, even some of the basics, HTML and CSS. So you can go to evolvingweb.ca slash training and get a list of all the different uh, upcoming trainings that we have. Um, but today, I want to talk about a cool module that we use here quite often at Evolving Web. It is called Focal Point. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to show you what the use case for this is. What is the problem? Um, the problem is, uh, sometimes we might have a page and it would show uh, a list of teasers. Maybe something like this. This is just coming from the Bootstrap uh, examples. Sort of a card, and it has an image right there and some text. And <clears throat> what we need is we need to have each of these images to all be the same size, you know, let's say 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Uh, if they were different sizes, different heights, it would look a little bit funky. So we need to have all of these be the same size, even though the original image might uh, be a different uh, ratio. So I have a little Drupal site uh, running here, and I've got two articles here, and they both have an image uploaded. And in this first image, you can see that it's, it's kind of a square image right there. You can see a little crab right there. Uh, but below this, you can see that there's more of a, uh, a landscape image like this, and there's a guy holding, holding a parrot. Um, and when I look uh, on the article itself, you know, it maintains uh, the image ratio. It doesn't crop anything off. Same with the guy with a parrot on his hand. Same image. But in this teaser right here, I need both of these to be cropped so that they are a square image. So... Uh, 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 you might think to yourself, okay, there's a couple of different ways to do this. You could have upload a, a different image for each of those instances. So have the original image, upload that, have its own separate field, and then add a new field just called the teaser image where you would crop it manually yourself and then uh, they would all be the same size. That's one way to do it. That's how I've done it on sites before. But this is where the focal point module can really help you. I'm going to start though. I'm going to start by uh, just showing you some of the setup for this uh, for this teaser. So I'm going to go to structure, content types, and I'm just using the article content type just as an example. And manage display, and in the teaser view mode, I have my image, and right now it's just using the default uh, medium 220 by 220 uh, image style. I'm going to change this though. I'm going to go to image styles. And I'm going to add a new image style that I'm going to call teaser. Uh, and I'll put the, uh, the cropping 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Create this. And here I'm going to add an effect. And I'm going to use the scale and crop effect. Okay, so it'll take the image, it'll scale it down, and it'll even crop some stuff off. Okay, so I'm going to put 300 pixels for width, 300 for height. And this anchor point, this anchor point, it is going to scale it and crop it starting from the center of it and move its way out until it hits 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Okay, so this part is key. You could change this, but I'm going to leave it at the default just at the center right there. So add this effect. So I have my new image style here, teaser. And now I'll go back to manage display on the article content type and I will change this image style from the medium image style to my brand new teaser 300 by 300. Update. Let's save. And let's see how this looks. So I'll go back to my site, go to the home page. And so this is using the new image style 300 by 300. And you can see the crab, it's, 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 it's definitely cropped it, but you can see that the crab is getting a little bit cut off. It feels just too close, bumping up against the edge there. And let's look at the man with the parrot on his hand, that image. We see his head's getting uh, knocked off a little bit, and we don't see the parrot at all. So how can we solve this? This is where the, the focal point Drupal module comes in. What it lets you do is you upload your image, and when you upload it, you can choose what part of the image you definitely want to stay in the image. You don't want that part cropped out. So I already have it uh, uh, installed and enabled, and this does depend on the crop API module. So you gotta install two modules here. I've already got that uh, set up. So what we do is now I'm gonna go 
back to my structure and the content types and go to manage form display on my article content type. And after you've installed and enabled the module, what you'll see here on the widget column here for the image is this new thing called image focal point. And I'll save that. And I will save this here. And now let's go and check out my article. And I'll edit this. And let's see what, how this looks. How, how different does this field look? And see right there, we've got uh, a, a tiny little thumbnail image right there, but we've got this little, little crosshair right there. And we can choose where we want this to be cropped. Okay, so I'm gonna hit just that part over there, right on the crab, and we can preview this. And it doesn't really give us a, 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 great, a great preview right here. So what we gotta do, what we gotta do is we wanna change a couple of things. First thing, this is a really small thumbnail. I, can't, I can barely see that, that, that crab in there. So I'm gonna change this uh, on the content type to use a bigger uh, image style so I can, I can uh, uh, better see what it is I want to focus on. So go to structure, content types, back to my manage form display. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this, the preview image style, by default uses the thumbnail one, I'm going to change this to, let's use a large one so we get a nice big image of it. Okay, and this says here, the preview image will be shown while editing the content. Okay, and it says display preview link right there. That'll give us a link so we can pop up and, and see uh, how uh, this will appear. When I save this, and go back to the content and edit that crab article. Again, now we get a bigger uh, display of how this is better, a little bit easier uh, to see uh, where on the image that we want to crop this here. And again, we have a preview right there, but it's only showing us the, the original image. What I need to do, what I need to do is I need to apply uh, a new effect on my image style. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go back to my image styles and on my teaser image style, okay, edit this. I am going to remove this one right here. And, and you can see up here, up at the top, it says you must have at least one image style defined that uses a focal point effect in order to preview. So in the preview, when we click that link, it only showed us the original image style and it didn't give us a preview of how it's gonna look. Once we add this uh, focal point effect, then we'll get a good uh, preview of how our image looks. So let's start by taking this one off, delete. And in the effects column, we have these two new effects that have been added once we installed and enabled the module, focal point crop and focal point scale and crop. We'll add this. And I'm gonna say again, 300 pixels by 300 pixels. Let's add the effect. Okay, like that. Let's go back to editing our article. I'm gonna refresh. Again, we, we see our crab right there. I'm gonna click preview. And now in this modal window, this shows up here. It shows us the teaser and it shows us how it's cropped it differently now. It still has the original image, of course, but now it shows us a little preview of how it's going to look. So let's close that and save and go back to the home page and see how these look different now. Okay, now that crab isn't being cut off uh, on the right hand side and it's still 300 pixels by 300 pixels. When we scroll down here, uh, I've already done this one before, so it, it saved my settings. Uh, but so now it's showing the parrot like that. I'm gonna edit this. Uh, you're gonna see here that I have chosen before in the settings. It retained uh, my focal point and it's focused on the parrot right now. I'm gonna change this to the man's face. And let's preview that. And now it'll focus right on him. But let's be cool and let's go and just choose the parrot once again, preview. And you can see that it's, it's changed the, the preview there. So let's save that. 
And now when we go back home, our crab is nicely cropped and our parrot is in his right place. So that's, that's, the, that's the, uh, the, the, the focal point module. We find it really, really useful. You get to save to not having to add multiple fields, one for your teaser image and one for the real image. So it's a really great uh, uh, module once you get it all set up. Um, so once again, uh, evolving web uh, slash training. You can see a list of all of our upcoming Drupal and other HTML and CSS trainings coming up. Uh, we also have a newsletter. Uh, evolvingweb.ca slash newsletter and you can uh, get signed up for, for new courses and helpful uh, little tips and articles that we, we publish there. All right, that's it. Thanks for, thanks for watching.